Welcome fellow Airsoft players and enthusiasts, channel host Marshmallow. And in this series we are going to be tackling the app called ATAC and all the uses that we have. So stick around. Alright, now that we got ATAC installed on our device, uh, let's start to customize it a little bit. Uh, so as we move forward we can kind of see what we like on the screen and what we don't. So let's hop on over to uh, that. When we first get into here, uh, it's going to bring us to... Your screen might be a little different on the map settings, but sometimes it's basically going to look like something useless to us, really. Uh, so let's first set the map. Uh, when you go to the top of the bar here, the, all those icons are, for lack of a better word, basically shortcuts. Uh, if you see the one that's just to the left of the uh, triple dots, that looks like a weird folding thing, that's the map. Old school like paper map. Here is where all of the um, standard maps and all those ones we brought from uh, Josh Fuller will be. Uh, I highly suggest you go through them, see what one uh, fits uh, the bill for you, what you might like. Uh, different ones will probably matter for uh, different um, objectives, different missions, etc. Uh, again, this is like the USGS. What I find that I like the most for me, and probably what I'll be using more often than not, is the Bing hybrid. This one I found to be almost the most up-to-date, most information, etc. But again, so that is how we get that set up and how we can, uh, moving forward, adjust it. Now we got that set. Now let's uh, do our customization and personalization. If you hit those three dots, we're going to go all the way down towards the bottom. Again, we'll go over all this stuff as we uh, use them. Right here in settings. Uh, first and foremost is my call sign. Uh, this is where you're going to adjust Literally your call sign, whatever name you want to display uh, on your device and when later on if you're on servers and so forth, how people will know it is you. Uh, so that's going to be whatever you decide. For me, I'm just going to use mine for my Airsoft team. I'm just going to go MG02. And team color could be whatever you want. Um, I'm just going to use red. It seems to stand out the most, but whatever team color you use. And then team member, this is the role that you have, whether you're the leader, etc. Uh, there's a few here. I'm just going to leave it as team member. Next, we're going to go under the more. Because, again, there's going to be a couple things uh, we want here. Uh, my display type. This is where you can change it. Where, let's say if you're going to be in a vehicle. You know, you're going to be moving around. You can have, you know, civilian vehicle. This just helps for organizing uh, later on again. But uh, that's how you would get to that. I'm going to leave it as ground troop. GPS preferences. Uh, right now, there's options. Uh, this is where you can use the GPS internally on this device or um, otherwise. The standard works pretty good. I don't suggest really changing it, but you can. Uh, right down here, sometimes this is on or not, you can use the GPS time uh, for that location. So then it automatically will adjust it. So if you're in different time zones. Next here, publish my phone number. Now, if you don't want that, and again, this is defaulted. So if you don't want your phone number just to be published on all that stuff, you can unclick that. Prefer email. Reporting preferences. Again, this is just, you know, you can send your location over the, uh, the network or not. Uh, I haven't really played around with a lot of these, to be honest with you. So uh, you can look at them, dive into them a little bit more if you want. That's pretty much it for there. So now we will hit the back button. And let's see to the next one. All right, track management. This is the package management. So when we set up in the last video, all those plugins and stuff, this is where you can get to them. If for whatever reason you need to turn a package off if you didn't need it, like the folder and whatnot, or if you got new ones, that's how you can get to those. Bluetooth support. This is where if you need to scan for Bluetooth items that are nearby, uh, I don't recommend leaving that on because it will continually look for them and it'll burn your battery up really quickly. So I wouldn't suggest uh, using that, but that's how you can do it. Two by preferences. This is where each of these different items, you can change them up. We're not gonna play with these right now, but um, this is where you would like ATAC forwarder. When we get into that, this is where we're gonna come to, but just something to be aware of. Display preferences. That's what we want right now. All right, we're going to go through a bunch of these. The uh, unit format on the top first one. The core display. This is where you can change how your GPS reads out. 
Right now it comes as MGRS, but if you need to go decimals, minutes, UTM, etc., the different ones is how you can adjust that if you need to. Altitude display, you can go to those ones. Altitude units, meters or feet. I'm just gonna use feet because I can. Speed units, miles per hour, if you needed to adjust that, uh, this is how you can. Range and bearing. Bearing units, degrees or mills, so if it's when you're talking with your team or whatever, if they're like, well, wait, what's our bearing gonna use? Oh, we're gonna use mills. Oh, okay. This way you can adjust that. Range units, so if you need to go feet, nautical. North reference, this one's an important one too. Now that's where you wanna make sure with whomever your team or otherwise, especially people that are gonna have maps and others, Make sure you set this true north magnetic or grid north those are very important because as you go further down you get mile two miles whatever uh, each one of these are going to bring you guys in different spots so make sure that you're on that page with that i think magnetic north is what a large majority of people use but all right and then unit thresholds this is where you can change that why i don't know why you would but you can so for feet to miles and so forth you can change that Range and bearing color. So if you wanted to, if you didn't like it being red, if you wanted to use a different color, you could. Uh, red seems to be good for me. I think that will be it from here. Go back. Enable the map scale rounding. This one I want to enable. As you zoom in closer on the map, you can have more uh, grid lines showing for the locations. If you didn't like that, you can click it off. Next one I like is the designated map center. Uh, this one's gonna, you'll see big uh, crosshairs that'll now show up when we go back to the map. Uh, let's go back real quick and I'll show you. See now you see that big uh, red crosshair in the center. I like that. Again, if it's gonna annoy you or uh, throw you off, you can turn that off. Let's go back to here we're under display preferences. Okay. This one right here, the display self-coordination information. And that's that bottom right. That shows like uh, your GPS location and a bunch of other information. If you didn't want that on, uh, this is how you can click it to enable or disable. Might be good for like when I'm doing videos like this. If you want to do one and you didn't want your GPS uh, shown, you could do that. Or if it's just in the way. You know, when you get zoomed in and you're on small screens, you may want every bit you can get. All right, usability, yeah, usability settings. This is where if the text are too big or too small, you can set those. Again, this is your preference. Uh, however, you're going to want to do that. Adjust for curve display. If you've got one of the newer phones that got a curve on the side, uh, this one barely does. So, uh, but you can set it there. Android device preferences. This is a nice quick link to where you can get here if you need to change your brightness. Again, this is going to be oh blue filters not on. Yeah, why not? Oh no, I don't like that. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this way you can change all your uh, device settings if need be. It's a nice quick um, link to that. All right, next one, color and tinting. So your uh, marker size, if you're finding it too big, actually I think you can't make it any smaller, but uh, you can make it bigger if you want. Uh, you could set to where, hey, we're going to use the team color instead. You can do that, or you could make a custom color for it. Um, for now, I'm just going to leave it as the team color. Toolbar customizer, this is cool. Um, I like it. This is where you can change those icon colors. So like right now the default is as white. I'm gonna go for kind of an interesting green look, uh, maybe right about there. So now you look, now they got that little green tint. So if there's this color that you would like to use, this is how you can set it. And the background comes defaulted as black, but if you wanted to change that too to like a red or whatever color you wanted, you can. That's how you would do that. So, and if again, if you want to reset it, then there's that reset, brings it back. So let me just show you real quick. I'm gonna head back to the home page. So now at the top, you see that those icons are now that greenish color instead of white. So that's how you can set those. Kind of cool little uh, feature. All right, let's get back to display preferences. Coming on back down. Grid line preferences. So now this is where, uh, if you didn't want them white, you can change those colors, green, yellow, etc. Um, I find white to be best for my eyes, but you can do whichever. Next is show uh, by default. I like clicking that. What this does is when you start up ATAC, then those grid lines will actually show up because right now they're not. And then grid line type again, this we can actually set those if you didn't want it in um, MGRS. This is different than your location. Okay, as far as like in that bottom corner that shows like where you are, this is different from that. This is gonna show on that actual grid. The uh, 
decimals or seconds. So that's a little bit different. Image outline, you can select a color. Uh, again, this is what this will be is later on when we start to add images, you'll see a little thing around it. Um, it's set for green. I didn't like green, I prefer white. And you can show those on startup. So we will do that. And then the import style, um, again, this is where you can set those colors. So if you import things, you'll see later on, we can set those colors. I think that's really about it at the moment. A lot of these other things, I but honestly, I didn't really change very much. I haven't really touched, but um, you may find them as needed. But that's basically it on uh, those. And then in the next video, we'll move on to other customizing and setups. <laughs>